Hello again YouTube. Okay, we are now just starting our go at the second level in the Punisher uh, called Chop Shop, where good old Frank Castle, Frankie boy, is going to infiltrate uh, a chop shop. Um, uh, the chop shop is being run by the uh, sort of organised crime lot that he hates called the Nutchies. And he's going to stealthily sneak into this chop shop without anyone noticing. So, 70 plus bodies, lots First we've got a little of film clip. And a building now fit Remember this is all being told in sort of flashback. Of epic proportions, most would say. A pleasant evening at the office for you though, right? Then you're walking home patting yourself on the back for a job well done when some asshole tries to run you over. There are some really difficult missions in this later on. That one, there's one, anyone that's played this will know about this level and probably remember it. There's one where you have to beat the uh, the Russian uh, and you have to kind of lure him under this rocket thing and it's, it's a horrible mission. And if you don't know what you're doing particularly as well, if you're playing it blind, it's a, it's a horrible mission. So, you found the car was What's sort of annoying as well when you're playing through this is the fact you can only carry two different weapons at once. I suppose it's kind of realistic, but it isn't half annoying. Because you kind of need a, a, a standard weapon to use, like whether it's a rifle or whatever, or pistols or whatever, just so you've got something. And then it's nice to have something with a bit more bang, but... Um, and it's also nice to have a sniper rifle, you know, and then you might find something like hand cannons or whatever. And you can't have them all, unfortunately. But I suppose that is kind of realistic. All right, here we go. We see Frank Castle sneaking in to the uh, Nucci garage. There's lots of interesting ways to mash people up in this, as you'll see. So these are the uh, the Nucci crime members. Now we're looking for oh, what's his name, Carlo Duca, I think it is, who's the sort of I think he's the lawyer or something of the Nucci family. Here we go. Boom! Nicely parked. <clears throat> we end up going in a huge circle and kind of ending up back at, at our car at the end of the level, But uh, as you'll see. But this level, it does kind of kick off immediately throws you sort of in it straight away so I'm gonna try and grab myself a human shield if I can. Nope, hang on. I need to keep that dude over there alive because he's got a skull on his face! Got you! Hey! Keep chucking stuff at me. Get out of the way! I can't kill the dude with the skull because he's got information I need. Get out of the way. I can kill you though. Click click boom! Now, so we interrogate him. The good old gun in his face. Have some of this. Damn it! No, 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 stop! Carlo Duca! It's Carlo Duca! Here we are, Carlo Duca. You have to excuse the stupid clicking noise in the background. It's my controller being bent, and um, I may actually get myself another. Boom! I may get myself another. Uh, controller off eBay because that's just really irritating now. Let's change to pistolas. Now, if I open this door, you see there's a dude working under that car, and just to the left there's a switch that I can hit, and it will cause that car to come crashing down. So we're going to do that. Crunch. There we go. But of course, no, wrong button. Damn it! I know he's here somewhere. There's one. Damn it! He ran off. I wish they wouldn't do that. It's almost like they don't want to get shot. Oh, there's one. Oh, and there's a dude hiding behind there. Come out, come out. Oh. Damn it! Don't reload now, quickly! There we go. Now there's another dude with a skull over here. And there's usually a guy up there. There he is. There he is. Come back! Nice. So there is another guy with a skull in here, so we're going to interrogate him in a very gruesome way. I gotcha! 
Any others? Yep, there's him. Damn it! Rubbish aiming. Boom! Boom! And you know that they're all dead because this guy has now surrendered. As is wise. So we will take him over to this angle grinder over here. There we go. I, I would and I can. Oh, that stupid controller. There we go. See, I actually, yeah, I did lose points for that. But it doesn't matter. We had some fun. Oh, hang on. There's also over here this dude. What are you doing here? He's not. He's kind of a baddie, but you're not supposed to kill him. You don't know what's in the crates. I I knew something was going on. I thought Tom Jane was awesome in the film version of this. So he tells us that in the back there are some flash grenades, which are kind of helpful later on. Switch back to the old shotgun. Awesome high definition, high res picture. Oh, what's this? Shotgun rounds. Right. What's going on? Oh. Please don't kill me. Why are you working in a chop shop? I can't be bothered to talk to her. Right, so up the stairs. Let's see what we got. I got you. Wait, that guy's got a TV. Gordon Bennett. Oh, oh, I mean that's ridiculous. I should have missed by miles. Nowhere near him. Talk to me, punk. Let's do a little face smash just for the hell of it. What? <laughs> oh, God, nearly killed him. That clicking sound is going to drive me nuts. I might actually put some tissue or something in the controller just to sort of pad it out a bit. Wee Crunch. Oh, it's a TV. You can actually pick up the TV yourself. That's pretty sweet. Big shop. Plenty of targets. Plenty of bullets. Yeah, this bit. There's a few guys around here. It's a bit... Come on, climb you! Oh, me and ladders. What is it? Really need to stay away from the dudes with shotguns. Oh! Oh, that was just. Grab him! Grab him! Ow. Now, if that had been a baddie later on in the game, he would have probably killed me. Oh god, there's a dude up there. Hello. Come on. Can't get the. Nope, can't get him. Oh. Chunky. Oh, now some of these we actually see our first sort of different weapon in a minute. He's got like a a sort of Mac 10. Nice. Quick kill. See, that's not a kill. That was a, that was knock him out. Right. We're not going to swap to the old mashy just yet, or the old oh, sub mashy, somebody else, because um, we haven't got much ammo for it. Is there a dude over there? No. Crunch. Jenkins, too small time for Nuji's. Something else is going on here. Good old Frank Castle. Always suspicious. He knows there's something going on. No pulling the wool over his eyes. Oh, that's the end of the first little bit. And straight into the second. With a lot of these Punisher levels, for some reason they are sort of divided into two. But, um, oh, there's some awesome levels coming up. I love the zoo one. It's awesome. There's some great ways of dispatching of enemies, including sort of piranhas and rhinos and all sorts. Oh, bomb. Didn't mean to go in there yet. Oh, bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Die, thank you. 
Lovely old point blank execution. Yeah, you can't go in that one. Oh god, grab him, grab him! Oh god, there's loads, there's loads! Language. Quickly! How could you miss from there? Oh my god! So rubbish! Shoot him! God! Where's he gone? There he is. Ray! Missed. Get up! Get up! Hey, got one of them down there. Truce! We're gonna interrogate him for sure. Choke! See, he's got a slightly smaller orange bar, so it makes it. Oh. Uh, makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, interrogate them. Bye! <laughs> Knocked out and dropped down a pit. Right. See that? Interrogating him helped to put my health back up to full, which is good. Missed! Unlucky! I know you're there. Walk out nice and slow. This can't be happening. Are you gonna die like this? You gonna take me to the police, right? Come on, shoot him in the. Take you to the police? You're joking me, old mucker. You're. Done for. Oh, we can take him. Now I've got to leave him alone because he's got a skull. Kill him quickly. Oh, now, oh. Come back, come back. Please. Right, here we go. Another interrogation coming up, or special interrogation. Follow me, sunshine. Follow me, and everything will be all right, or everything is all right, place. or something like that. I'm whatever Uncle Cracker said. Oh, bum. There we go. No, you won't, because I'm going to mash it through your eye. See, there is a version of the game where those things don't have the, the old black and white filter on. And uh, I imagine it's fairly gruesome, but... Um, not seen it myself. It's a bit like the old Manhunt games. Mercy. They had the same sort of thing going on. So oh, another one. Ooh! Ooh! What a way to die. I have my head smashed into the toilet. This is really going to affect my score over time, but uh, still, it's good fun. No, don't want to kill him. Kill this dude. And another one. Now I don't know what this machine is. So if anyone watching works in a a garage or anything, or can tell me what this thing is, you might be able to let me know because I haven't got a clue. As you'll see, what he does in a minute, he ends up. I don't know. It's like he sort of coats his head in plastic or something. I don't know. See, look, if you look at first, I thought he'd like boiled his skin off, but then when you actually look at him, his head looks like it's sort of, I don't know, coated in something. Don't know what's going on there. Come on. Ow, good shot. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, it is. Boom. Right, I'm going to pause it there because that's been about 15 minutes. So if you want to see what happens at the end of this Chop Chop level, there's a pretty good death thing at the end when we find good old Carlo Duca. So if you want to see that, join me for the next part of The Punisher. And yeah, we will complete our mission objective.